But I want to bring in our first guest, Chris Brown. Yeah. Hey guys. Is with Nine Round. It's a 30 minute kickbox fitness program located right here in Woodway, across from the studio, actually. Yes. Welcome to the show. Uh, thanks. Um, Tell us about Nine Round. Round. Yeah. So, What's the name all about? So, basically, uh, the, way it, the way it works, it's a kickboxing themed circuit training workout. So, when you come in, you'll do nine rounds um, of varying exercises, mm -hmm. whether it be jump rope, weights, um, some calisthenics, and then also, of course, a lot of boxing and kickboxing aspects mm -hmm. uh, mixed in there as well. So you do three minutes of each round. First two and a half minutes, you're kind of steady working at about 80, you know, 80 to 85 percent of your mm -hmm. target heart rate, and then we want you to kind of sprint to the end, the last 30 seconds, so you get some interval training in there. And you'll have 30 seconds to move from one round to the next, but you're still moving the entire time you're on the mat. There, we've got some video there, ah. and you're using your whole entire body. That that is for sure. Yes. We we spoke before. Uh, this show, and I said, is this for everyone on a skill level? If you've got somebody yeah. like me that doesn't work out a whole lot, yeah. um, I've never done anything with boxing, so I'm intrigued. But can yeah. I do it? Really, uh, I would say a good 90% of the people we have come in the gym have never done boxing or kickboxing, so a lot of novice, a lot of novices. But we have trainers there every, the entire time we're open to guide you through the workout, um, teach you form, um, and make sure you're doing things correctly, um, so you don't end up. Kind of with an injury like I've well, let's, but, just be, uh, <laughs> let's just be clear. You did not injure yourself at work, right? No, no, okay. no. This was just, yeah. Because yeah. I was going to make up a story that we got in a, in a oh, yeah. skirmish uh, before the... Uh, no. Make this no. very colorful. Yeah. No, and, and, and that's another thing, too. We get a common question. Uh, we're not really there to train fighters. We're just, we're using boxing for the fitness aspect. So gotcha. don't go out and try to use your newly learned skills out. <laughs> Out, out in the ring or at the bar or anything like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is for fitness only. Yeah, it's for fitness. Um, What's the response been like? Um, it sounds like it's really interesting and keeps it from know, getting boring. It, it is because we, you know, we're open six days a week. Mm -hmm. uh, if you came in all six days of the week, you'd be doing a different workout every time. Mm -hmm. um, and it is a full body workout every time you come in. So it's, it's something that doesn't get stale, doesn't get boring. And that's been probably one of the biggest um, biggest selling points for us, mm -hmm. um, for people coming in, is it's always kind of fresh and you're going to be sore in a new place every week. Um, so I like that. You don't have to worry about it. Mm -hmm. Do you uh, track how many calories you guys burn? Yeah, that's actually, that's actually a great question. Um, we have uh, available heart rate uh, oh, monitoring nice. technology, so okay. if you're wearing it, then when you come in, there, there's three monitors in the gym. You can see how you're doing as far as heart rate, um, calories burned um, throughout your workout, mm -hmm. and then you'll get an email um, after your workout's done that gives you a summary of what you did and how well you did, and so you can track your progress as you keep coming in. You know, are you getting fitter? Are mm -hmm. you burning more calories? Um, and typically, that's what happens as you get fitter, as you're able to perform at a higher capacity. As a fitness professional, what should people do as far as setting expectations? I think a lot of times, you know, I think I'm going to the gym, so I expect to lose five pounds this week, and I'm going to be good question. You that's know, kicking butt all over the place. What do we really need to set our that, our minds? That, that's a great question. Um, Really, for me, for, for if you're coming in, and I, I like to gauge what is our starting point. Mm -hmm. You know, I've got a, a large amount of clients that come in. This is their first time working out, mm -hmm. or their first time working out in years. So I just start with, let's just build consistency with you getting here, because yeah. that's mm -hmm. been a struggle up to this point. Good, Are you gonna, good point. Yeah, that's great. You, know, just, you parked your car and you're walking. Right, yes. right. Have you ever done that went <laughs> back in the car and did not work out? <laughs> I yeah. haven't. Okay, I have. I've, I've, had, I've had some folks admit yes. that, that they sat out there and then they turned around. It's like, no, come in. <laughs> you made it this far. Um, no, it's building that consistency. Yeah. So we start and it's like, okay, let's, because a lot of times I'll ask, how many times a week do I need to come in? Do I need to do yeah. this? It's like, let's start with three times a week. Let's get that down. Let's get in the habit. Let's get it to where you miss being here, yeah. or that you actually want to be coming in, working out, and yeah. build that part of the lifestyle. And then the rest is going to fall into place if you can kind of kind of do that. Um, I would say just temporary expectations. Like I'm not going to lose five pounds in two days because yeah. I usually tell somebody if they're if they're if they're coming in overweight, you didn't put in you didn't put all that weight on in two days. Yeah, yeah. it's going to take a little longer to do it. It's mm -hmm. just let's work on the lifestyle changes first. Well, I, I noticed in that video that we had a lot of females. Uh, featured mm -hmm. on that clip. Like so, it. girls, guys, we'll take a look at it. Uh, it's for everyone, right? It's for, yeah, it's for males, females, um, young and old. I've got everywhere from 12 years of age to uh, some ladies in their 60s that are coming in, ladies and, and guys are in their 60s coming in, so everybody in between. 
Um, what we do is highly scalable and adaptable for all fitness levels, oh. age levels, strength levels. So uh, modifications. Yeah, exactly. I can nice. make, we can make it as hard as we have to, and we can make it as easy as we have nice. to based on who's coming in. Now, what if you skip rope like a third grader? Because I noticed in that video. I do like a Girl Scout. I, I'm yeah. like, you know, I say like, yeah. lollipop, um, lollipop. That's me. <laughs> I, ideally, yeah, we're going to, if you can make a few um, rotations Can you make me jump rope, rope like Rocky? We're going to, there you go. Eventually, if you get there, it's That's just like anything. It's practice. Practice I love it. perfect. Yeah. All right, the uh, information to go get involved in nine round is on your screen right there. Just locate it right across the street from, from our studios here, which is pretty nice. Go check them out. Social media as well, Facebook, Instagram. Yes, yeah, Facebook, Instagram. Um, follow us. Um, All right, as we go to break, how often do you wash your car? Ooh. That's not He's the answer. Not the answer well, I was looking for. Yeah. We'll talk about that a whole lot more on the other side of the break.